All right, YouTube Repo Man 64. Take them to the secret broadcast cave and teach them all to talk like me. We're out here. Got a new uh, spot to record from. TV behind me. Still have no signal. We'll get the uh, Wi-Fi on here at the new location soon. I wanted to come on here because there is a lot of people looking at January the 7th and for a lot of different reasons. Uh, spine breakers looking at it because of Psalms 124.7. Uh, cool cats looking at it because of that uh, phantom flying month uh, that uh, we're 30 days out on the calendar. And I've seen so many other uh, mathematical equations getting to that date. And I have one too. So let's get to the pictures. <clears throat> and take a look and see where we're at. All right. Right now on the timeline, we're right here. January 1st came and went. Uh, in the end it shall speak, and um, I will raise them up in the last day. We're two uh, ideals that we got out of the Bible thinking that might be it. Um, the Gregorian calendar, people are saying, well, it's not uh, 2024 until March. That's simply not true. The Gregorian calendar um, was made in 1582, and they did it to fix the Julian calendar because the Julian calendar uh, was going to be days off every three or four hundred years. The Gregorian calendar is one day off every 30, 300 years, I believe it is. The only perfect calendar is the calendar of Enoch, where there are 364 days in a year where each day has 24 hours. Uh, both the Julian and the Gregorian calendar are viewing a day as 23 hours and 56 minutes and some change, and the Julian is doing a similar thing with less change, which is why they're off. Both calendars are not accurate. The only accurate one is what we call the Enoch calendar, but we start it back here on uh, March 16th. It's the day Jesus said, are there not 12 hours a day? And in fact, there are. I'll show you a verse also in Enoch. I will always quantify that with stating that no, Enoch does not belong in the Bible. It is more of a history book uh, clarifying things that we see. We already see it written in our Bible where Jesus states, are there not 12 hours in a day? He just randomly says this out of nowhere when speaking about Lazarus dying. That tells us the day Lazarus died. and He died on March the 16th. March the 16th will always be the day of equal parts. It never changes. It doesn't change from the beginning of time until the end of this world, March the 16th will always have 12 hours in the day and 12 hours at night. Um, the sun will move. The moon, of course, is, is completely wrong. It is, it, the moon is actually accurate every 19 years. Um, <clears throat> so we continue, or I continue, to look at this timeline starting the year simply on March the 16th. Now, we saw the world admitted that the anniversary of Noah's flood happened on Heshvan 17, which was October the 31st. We all went past that. We all saw it. We all know that 150 days after the flood began, that the waters began to recede. Here it is, 150 days later, which also happens to land on the day Jesus gave up the ghost on the cross. And then it adds to that where it says in the 17th month, in the, in the seventh month, sorry, in the 17th day, the ark rested after the flood. That happens to be when God turned time back six months, that happens to land on Nisan 17. So, um, the, when you do that, when you start your year, Sorry, when you hold the when you 
hold the anniversary of the flood on October the 31st and you count 150 days, you will land on March 30th. And also, if you begin your year on Nissan 1, which is March 17th, the first day of the year, and you count 14 days, you will also land on March 30th. So the timeline continues to prove itself. And I keep getting, and, and it's fine, I get it, uh, a lot of comments. Well, you know, this, uh, this thing that's about to happen, uh, the Al of Tov, where it uh, X's out America is going to happen on April the 8th, that was the day that uh, Jesus went to the cross. No, it's not. Jesus went to the cross on March the 30th. That's the anniversary of it. That's the day, every single year, the anniversary that Jesus goes to the cross. April the 10th is the day Jesus went to Thomas in the upper room. This event is going to happen on April the 8th. So to me, and from what I see, would be more of a warning of something about to come. So let me continue in here with the pictures. You have that. I've shown you that before. That's a very important piece of information for the saints of the tribulation. I wanted to touch on a subject and throw an idea out there. There is been talk about predestination. While it's true that you were predestined for salvation, but a location. When you became sa saved, God put you in a category. He knew whether or not you were going to have any works. So some people will be brides. Some people will be saints. Some people will go into the millennium. There's different groups. There is a hierarchy in heaven. I showed you that in the last video where um, Moses chose leaders over ten, hundreds, thousands. And these leaders um represent the hierarchy that will occur in heaven a lot of i've heard a lot of people say i'd be happy to to be the guy that opens the door well there will be somebody there opening the door there will be somebody there that i i, I don't know about cleaning or or, or any of that of what's going to happen in heaven but the will we were created as working beings we are not created to lie around all day uh, people that do that uh, don't live as long as people who get out there and work. So let me continue on with this thought. I have a lot of pictures. I've been working on this for a week, and I've been so busy this week. I haven't had time to get on here. I really wanted to get on here a couple of days ago, but I couldn't. <clears throat> There's where we use that I will raise him up in the last day. Unfortunately for me and this timeline, the last day is March the 16th. No, I'm not saying that we're going on March the 16th. What I'm saying is whenever we read something in the Bible, we all try to apply it to one group. There are a lot of groups, a lot of different groups. So we have to be careful and, and read the passage carefully to understand which group, if we're even supposed to understand that at this point. So some passages are pointing to a group of people that are going to leave before all these things come to pass. Luke's uh, in Luke, uh, pray that you're accounted worthy to escape all these things. All right. I showed you this before. Again, March 30th is the day of the cross. They are going to do something. Satan is going to do something on this day. Six years, six months, and six days after the Revelation 12 sign in 2017, September the 24th being the following day, um, there are six years, six months, and six days. That is very telling that it lands exactly on March 30th. March 30th, the anniversary of Jesus giving up the ghost on the cross. From March 30th, and let's say that's the day, March 30th, let's just say that that's Something is going to happen on that day. Will tribulation begin on that day? I don't know what they're going to do to force this to happen, but that's but three months away. 
from right now. If you count three years and six months, 42 months, you will land where? Jesus goes to the cross, the anniversary of March 30th. When was Jesus physically born? September the 29th. That's when he was born. At nightfall, becoming September the 30th. There are 42 months in there. I believe Satan is planning to attempt to take over these days like he's done with Christmas and with Halloween and all that. These days were for us to recognize that, hey, God is a just God, but he still will judge the whole world. And he did that on Halloween with the flood. All right. And I just wanted to show you where it is in the Bible you can find. It's Genesis 8, uh, 1, uh, 4, I mean. And the ark rested in the seventh month, on the 17th day of the month, upon the Mount of Ararat. That's the moment Jesus rose. The moment that ark sat down is the moment Jesus rose. Noah remembered, sorry, and God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was in the ark. And God made a wind to pass in the earth and the waters assuaged and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped. And the rain from heaven was restrained and the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of 150 days, 150 days from when the flood started, it lands on the cross. If your calendar is not showing that, the Jewish calendar showed that the flood occurred on October the 31st. You must count 150 days. The uh, Passover is not on April the 23rd. It is not when this blood moon thing happens on April the 8th. It is still. The anniversary will always be on March 30th. And the waters prevailed upon the earth in 150 days. And I show October the 31st is when the first day would be November the 1st. You count 150 days and boom, you land directly on the cross. From November the 1st, <clears throat> October the 31st being the flood, you count 153 days or brings you to the seventh month and 17th day and you will land when the ark rested on Mount Ararat. That is the moment that Jesus rose. We rest. He did all the work. This is why I say I've showed you this before. This is why I say no, nothing needs to be added to the Bible. Those who say it simply don't understand how tightly woven the Bible is and how if you add one comma, one dot, one tittle to it, if you add anything to the Bible, this here cannot happen. This will not happen if you add anything to it. And God made certain of his Bible and what he wanted in there. I don't care who assembled it. God put it together. He moved people to put it together. Okay. You saw this, and I learned early on that this is a duplicate because it says .org instead of .gov. And I think this person is a Christian, and I think that they're getting the message out there, and people will go here and click on it, and they will get a message that the Revelation 12 sign happened here. And then there were other uh, up there in the upper right, you can push a button, and there were other things that uh, they put in there. Um, my personal opinion is that somebody who is trying to get the message of Jesus out there to people who might otherwise never hear about it. Notice this. This is in Haggai 2. This is where every, this is where cool cats looking. This is where a lot of people looking. And I want you to. To notice something in this is this is how we're getting to um, January the seventh, from what I can see, and that is what. What are we on now? It's the fifth. Tomorrow's the sixth, and then the seventh. Blessings for a defiled people in the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius. So we've already passed that on my timeline. That is gone. The uh, 4 and 20th day, let me find that on here. We all thought that was it. The 7th month. Oh, Kislev 24, which was December the 7th or 8th. Right there. So 
we've already passed that. We've passed December the, the 8th, and here we're coming up on January the 7th, and it's 30 days out. And it's not because we have a month that's out of time. There is no such thing as 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 two adars. That's honestly that's silly. That's not even written anywhere in the Bible. Um, what's written in the Bible is Jesus said, "Are there not twelve hours in the day?" That's what's written in the Bible. All right. And they kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month at even. Jesus went to the cross on the fourteenth day of the first month at three o'clock in the afternoon. So, again, the timeline, if I were to count, if I, if I had made a mistake somewhere, and, and this, this timeline continues to confirm itself over and over again, I would actually challenge, um, in a nice way, I would actually challenge Robert Breaker to go in and find every passage that says moon and tell me if it says, uh, if it says, uh, uh, what is the word? Is it Kase and Saline? Or is it uh, not Kase because that's a pointed time? I wonder if I could find that real quick for the moon. Hold on a second. Um, yes. Ya Reach. I challenge um, Robert Breaker because he has a huge channel. He's very biblically knowledged to go through every verse in the Bible where they have used the word moon and see if it says Yarich or Selene. Those are the only two accurate translations of the word moon. If it says Chodesh, it is not moon. When David went out and hid himself for three days, everybody's like, oh, yeah, he's, he, was at, he was at the new moon. Well, somebody sent me proof that, uh, that it was talking about a full moon. How do you hide yourself in a full moon? It's because it's not talking about either one. It's talking about the first of the month. They would meet on the first of every month to have this dinner with the king. So when you go to look at that word that they used for David hiding, the word was moed. It was appointed time. It was not moon. So they're confusing, and they would because in 400 B.C., King Atticus forced the new moon calendar. They worshiped the moon. They forced this new moon calendar on the Jews, and they adopted it all the way up until about 50 BC when um, the, uh, they made their own calendar, of course, which is wrong. And then we made the Gregorian calendar to fix the, the Julian. The, it's called the, the Julius calendar, the Julian calendar, and it's wrong. And then we made the Gregorian calendar of 1582 to fix the problem that that calendar had. So they were actually only on the moon concept for about 350 years, but it hung on. That's all it took Satan to win was to introduce the worship of the moon on these people. And then it made it into the Bible. It made it into the Torah. It made it into everything. And it's it it messed everything up. But if you go in to the oldest translations, you will see Rosh Chodesh means new month. It has nothing to do with the moon. You will see that Kase means appointed time. Yarich and Selene, one in Hebrew, one in Greek, means moon, and Moed means appointed time. Kase means time appointed. Moed means appointed time. All right. So we go here, and we find in, in Numbers 9, and they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month at even. We are defiled. It says right here, we are defiled. Blessings for a defiled people. Why name this blessings for a defiled people? What happens to a defiled people? Whoops, sorry about that. Here in Numbers 9, it says, We are defiled. Wherefore are ye kept back that we may not offer an offering of the Lord in his appointed season? Appointed season, I guarantee that's Kase, appointed time, maybe Moed. Nothing to do with the moon. 
offering of the Lord in his appointed season among the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, Stand still, I will hear what the Lord will command concerning you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, that's what they are called back here, they are called a defiled people. We are defiled. These people touched a dead body. So they've asked Moses to please go talk to God. It says, we are defiled by the dead body of a man. We go forward over here, and God is explaining. Or be in a journey afar. Now God just throws in this extra part. He just adds in a journey afar off. Remember, that takes us in our minds to a man who left his wife, who is a prostitute uh, because she's cheating on him, or best case scenario, she's, she's an adulteress, and she's cheating on him. He has left, and he is going to return. He left with the bag of money. He's going to return at the appointed time, not the moon. He's going to return at the appointed time. So that, that gives us that idea. Um. The 14th day of the second month at even shall keep it and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. So the 14th day of the second month. How long are we waiting because of a defiled people? When that man left with the bag of money, do you think it's possible that he knew that his wife was cheating on him? He's talking about the Jews. The Jews have cheated on him. They continue to cheat on him. They are a defiled people because they will continue to cheat on him. So I think that's the 30 days. I think that's what we're waiting for. It does land like Spinebreaker, finding it in Psalms 124.7, like Cool Cat, thinking that there's a month out of place. But here we have biblical, not just the idea that the, 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 the you know the the calendars are off by a month because they're not. Here we have the ideal. The reason we're waiting is because we are defiled people and we are going to wait until the fourteenth day of the second month. What is the fourteenth day of the second month? Well, that's January seventh. That is January the seventh. All right. Let me go here and take a look. Blessings for a defiled people. And you go back, we go back to Haggai there. Let's see here. Now I'm lost. It, uh, this is all Haggai where it continues to talk about the 24th day. Oh, I remember why I did all that. I want you to read this. If you would go in yourselves as well and read this. And I want you to notice how it's saying that God is going to do something. I will do something. Something is going to happen. He doesn't say that it will happen on this day. Let me see if I can find a few examples here. In the 420th day of the second year came the word of the Lord uh, by Haggai the prophet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, now ask the priests concerning the law, saying, If one bear, okay, let me know that. Then answered Haggai and said, So is this people and so is this nation before me, saith the Lord. And so is every work in their hands which they offer. Oh, let me find it there. I smote you with blasting and with humility and hail and laborers in your hands. You turn not to me, thus saith the Lord. Consider now from this day and upward and forward from the four and twentieth day, from, from the four and twentieth day and forward, even from the day that the foundations of the Lord's temple was laid. Consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? Yes. So you see here, let, let me see, see what this one says. And again, the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twenty. A lot of happened on this day for Haggai. Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake, I will. I, 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 not that it's happening on that day. He's getting the message this day. He has to leave from where he is and go speak to Zerubbabel. We see so much happening on this day. He's getting all these visions and he's sent off to speak to somebody. So 
the, the issue or, or, or whatever it is we're looking for here is not going to happen all this day. We are a defiled people. I think we're waiting 30 days. I think we're waiting until January the 7th. Time, of course, will tell. I've thought that many times before, but we just keep looking and keep trying to figure it out. And I will overthrow the, the uh, I will overthrow the throne of the kingdom, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down, and every one by the sword of his brother in that day. What day? 24th day of, uh, of uh, Kislev? No. The day he's going to do this, and I don't know exact. I mean, to to be honest with you, and I don't like to be like this. I hate to be like this, but to be honest with you, we have seen. Um, and as a matter of fact, I forget who it was. Somebody was like years, months ago or years ago, really intent on um, when North Korea begins to bomb. That's it. We're going. They had a dream or a vision. So we're right at it. But you would think that we would see a massive uptick in uh, earthquakes or, or, you know, something huge, maybe. But then again, the more I look at this and the more I study this, the more I realize that Satan doesn't know the day. You saw that that uh, that clock ticking down. Uh, Craig, I think it's Craig Bong that, sh that was showing that. See that clock ticking down. And what did they do? They stopped the clock. They added time to it. They took time away. They, they, they just thought to change times back and forth. They just kept changing the time. I mean, a countdown is a countdown to a specific day. Satan doesn't know the day. There's a reason he doesn't know the day. And there's a reason we don't know the exact moment yet. And the reason is, is because Satan's going to try to get us and God can't have that happening. So when the rapture occurs, it's a really fast event. But apparently Satan is possible, could be prepared in some kind of way if he knew exactly when it was. So if one of us knew and we could prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt, then Satan would be there. We're, <laughs> we're going to get to heaven. God's going to be like, really? I was literally, you were literally this close. I was trying to hide this. All of you watchers were right on my heels with this and know the date has never moved but you guys were were right there you, you wouldn't stop you just kept going and i know god's not upset about that that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to keep watching and trying to figure this out but the rapture could literally occur right now there is nothing stopping it from happening i just personally would think that we would see something and we have i mean don't get me wrong we've seen a lot of stuff but i think I would we would see something like huge Yellowstone, um, massive uptick in earthquakes. Uh, I think the reason we aren't seeing uh, anybody really invading any and getting crazy out there with nuclear bombs is because they are being restrained right now. Uh, we're still here, and none of that can happen while we're still here. All right. So. I noticed this, January the 7th to March the 30th, the, the anniversary of Jesus going to the cross, is 84 days. Remember those 84 keep jumping up in there. 84, Jesus was in the grave for one day, two days, and a half a day. Three and a half days. It adds up to 84 hours. Time times an 84 is time times and half a time. So what I do math from January the 7th to March the 30th, then now March the 30th being eight days before uh, we see this uh, uh, eclipse that's going to cross over America, you know, we you have to take notice of it. You know, January 7th is still jumping up there for me. Let's see. There's the 30 days for the defiled people. We are a defiled people. That's how Haggai started talking. We are a defiled people. What does God say for a defiled people? You have to wait 30 days. You've got to wait 30 days. All right. I got into a little Enoch for you so that you could see the time 
Again, doesn't belong in the Bible, but it is a good history book. Okay, how it was with regard to all the years of the world unto eternity till the new creation is accomplished, which dureth till eternity. So he's explaining that what's what's going on right now, what's happening right now with time, it stays the same. It's never changed. It has always been since creation, and it will always be until the destruction of this planet and the new planet comes into play. Who knows how long a day will be on the new earth and, and new heaven, if there's even time. It says there's no seas, no oceans. I mean, I guess we'll have no need for it in the new heaven and the new earth. Let's see. And 30 mornings on count of the sign and sets in the west. On that day, the day is equalized with the night. This does not happen. And this is where all of the other channels that are Enoch enthusiasts and pushing Enoch fail to recognize that on this day, there are not 12 hours in the day and 12 hours at night on the equinox, but they will always start their year on the equinox. And every single year, they will change it. Sometimes it's on the 20th, on the 21st, it goes back and forth. But one thing never, ever changes. Almost to, to very seconds, and that is the day of equal parts. On that day, the day is equalized with the night and becomes of equal length. The night amounts to nine parts and the day to nine parts. It is exactly exactly 12 hours in a day and 12 hours at night perfectly i've showed you this before in 1753 that's as far back as i can go because any further back than this and they changed the calendar they left the julian calendar back in 1582 but the united kingdom adopted the gregorian calendar in 1753 almost 180 years later uh, but you can see, and if you did go further back, you can, but it'll appear to be on the 6th instead of on the 16th because of those 10 days that they that they removed. So 1753 is as far back as I could go. Look at the time. It is at some point on the 16th. It will be 12 hours a day and 12 hours at night. We're literally, what is that? Um, 13 seconds away from being 12, 12, exactly. But the next day on the 17th, you've gone past it. As close as you can get to 12 without going over. Here we have in the year 2600, just under 600 years from now, and it doesn't change. The moon has moved. The sun has already completely moved out of its place. But one thing that never changes is the 16th will always be the day of equal parts. That will always be the last Sabbath of the year. And the 17th will always be the first day of the year. Always. Never changes. If it did, if, if it changed, then we could not apply the rule that 150 days after the flood, we land at the cross. They are changing the calendar this year by 23 days. 23 days. They are calling Passover on April the 23rd. How? How? Where did you find 23 days? The sun came up. And then the sun came up again, and we gave it a date. They added 23 days. That would mean that from the flood, because they have admitted the flood was on October the 31st, 150 days later is when Jesus goes to the cross. But wait a second. We're going to go 173 days. We're going to add 23 days to that. It just makes no earthly sense to me that they, that they can do that. So what have I done here? Why do I have this picture? 19, oh. I made a walk in front of a church that I was not a member of. I was just driving by and just, I even passed the church. It was Calvary Chapel. The pastor there was named Bob. I heard some scandal got involved with him back in, I think, 96. He was ousted because he did something. I don't know what it was. But again, I wasn't a member of that church. But on November the 20th of 1994 is when I made my walk. In front of the church. Now, when was I saved? God had been working in my heart 
like in John 6, 44, he had been working in my heart long before that. I had already begun studying my Bible back in 1984, I think is when I got this Bible. So 10 years earlier, I was reading my Bible. I would take my lunch breaks and read it and I would study. I prayed for discernment so I could understand what I was reading. And more and more, the longer I stayed in it, the more I understood. And that's the way it is for all of us. The more you stay in it, the more you understand. The more intimate you become with the word, the closer you get. So was I predestined or did God call me like in John 6, 44, or was it always going to happen? Or did I have a choice not to do it? I don't think any of those things are completely true. And None of them are completely false. I think that you respond when called. When Almighty God calls you, I think you respond. I don't think you have much of a choice. I think that's what you're going to do. And then you say, well, did he call everybody? He says he pours out his spirit on all flesh. Some people will respond. You have, you have a right to join a group. There are people who have joined a group. They have decided that this is the way it is. There is no pre-tribulation rapture. There is no, um, the mark is already here. Uh, there's a millennialist. There's people, I mean, there's all kinds of different people. I think all they've done is join a group. They are not, not, they are not, not saved is what I'm trying to say. They are saved. They're just saved to a different group, if that makes sense. All right. I want to thank you. Um, this kid right here had 11 subscribers who all went to subscribe to him. He's got 346 now. Um, he And I want to point this out. Super important to me to point this out. He has in his last video stated, I don't know about, you know, Repo Man's timeline and I'm not, you know, completely convinced. I look, this is what happened. When I first started my YouTube, I was just beginning this timeline and I was throwing ideas out there. Could this be because I wasn't completely convinced myself? I wasn't completely sure. I am now, but I wasn't then. And Dr. Barry, Dr. Barry threw me the biggest bone ever and he promoted my channel. From that moment forward, I, I, and my channel exploded. I think I got like two or 3,000 subscribers that day. And I remember Dr. Barry, when he first started, when he had less, a lot less than I do now of subscribers. And so why do I promote this kid? It's not because he agrees with everything I say. It's because he loves the Lord and he's searching. I don't know if he's all right, you know, 100% right about anything he's saying, or I'm 100% right. He doesn't have to agree with him is what I'm trying to say. I promote, I do this on purpose. I promote a lot of channels on purpose. Um, if I have any clout whatsoever uh, on YouTube, I use it to support other channels in that their channel grows a little bit and it helps them. And if they have a, they may be, they, that kid right there might find something that I never dreamed of. God will lead us to finding things that he wants us to find. And uh, from what I hear from this kid, he's doing a really great job. So um, he does not have to agree with everything I say. I just would love to see his channel grow because he's doing so well. Let's see. Spinebreaker High Watch, January 7th. What is this? I don't know if this has been mentioned anywhere on any channel, but the, oh, the Coptic Orthodox faith, my husband's family is from Egypt, celebrates Christmas on January the 7th. They always claim to be the ones who really know the dates. Of course, I would disagree. They're 30 days out. But it's interesting, again, how a lot of calendars will line up with January the 7th. If you think we're 30 days out or if you uh, are applying this to Psalms or if you think we're a defiled people uh, and uh, that we have to wait for 30 days, which I showed you there, not sure if this is meaningful. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, I got my first strike. I was so excited. Isn't this exciting? I was like, 
I was wondering, I'm like, they never gave me a strike. You all kind of left out. I must not be saying anything uh, noteworthy or edgy. And uh, they got me from a video that I made three, I don't even know how long I've been on here, three or four years ago. <laughs> they got me on a video that I made and I was just like, they're like, we're taking it down because you said something. And that's back when um, that Mark of the Beast thing, everybody was like, that's the Mark of the Beast. If you take it, you're going to hell. And I was on there and we got together. I said, no, it's not. It is not. And they're like, yes, it is. You're 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 sending people to help by telling them it's not. I'm like, no, I'm not. It is not. That doesn't come out until after three and a half years of the truth. And they will ignore Bible fact to make statements. And I'm just like, I can't even believe you guys are telling people that they're going to hell over this. This is horrible that you're doing this. you know. And I heard a lot of uh, people were feeling pretty, pretty down about, you know, going through with it, not even recognizing it. You, when you take that mark, you're going to know what it is. You're going to know that you're falling in line behind Satan. You're going to know that it's not just going to be a, a, a flu shot. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a lot more than that. All right, let's get back here. Let's see where we're at. Um... Oh, Brother Victor726 did a very interesting video here. Oh, I think he was actually reading. Yeah, he was. He was actually uh, pointing to uh, Spine Breakers January 7th, found in Psalms 124.7. So I thought that was pretty cool of him uh, promoting Spine Breaker. So Spine Breaker, everybody's asking, does not have a YouTube I'm friends with him. We, as a matter of fact, we were just texting before I started this uh, video. Uh, he does a lot of research for me and for others, for uh, Will over at Worship and Watch and for uh, Tony over at the Cataclysm, Tony Early, and for myself. If we have a question about uh, uh, the original language, uh, much to his chagrin, including the moon issue, which I've Pretty much got him on every single time <laughs> uh, because I'm convinced that, that uh, they're mistranslated the word moon. Uh, he uh, he will actually go in there and, and do that study for me. So he's awesome. What is this? Oh, this is that. Uh, look at this. Um, this is that there was three days, seven years and three days. It just didn't change for like days and days and days. And then all this. Oh, excuse me. It's cold out here, so it's making me sleepy. Um, it appears the time it clicks down seven years and three. It, it just jumped. I guess it jumped by like four days or something over just a moment of time. Oh, here it is. Yeah, look, it went to six years, 11 months, and 27 days. So it jumped six days overnight at midnight. It just jumped six days. It's almost like they forgot to count, and then all of a sudden they started to count, but they can't be under seven years. And I think what I heard, the latest thing that I heard was that they fixed it. It's back to seven days and uh, seven years and some days now from what I heard. So I'm not sure about that. I think that's it right there. So anyway, I wanted to get on there. I'll be making more videos if we don't get raptured. And I'll have the uh, TV behind me hooked up and working. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, go in and... Uh, uh, see some other videos and stuff on there. So uh, a little bit easier to work with that way, I think. So anyway, Repo Man 64. Yeah, I'm looking at January 7th. I'm uh, afraid. Now, here's what happened. Look, uh, like a couple months ago, um, Cool Cat was on his uh, Clapper channel stating, hey, you guys need to go look at my video. And I cannot remember the name of the video, but it talked about the last day a lot. And when I heard it and everything that he said and all the verses that he pointed out, I was like, he's talking about March 16th. And I contacted him. He's like, no, no, it's definitely going to be, I forget when it was, September something. No, it's definitely going to be, uh, I said, dude, everything you said, every verse you pulled is pointing to March 16th. The last Sabbath, that's the last day of the year. Again, the Gregorian year has ended. We just got into 2024. It is 2024. It is year still 5783 
or 59.93. It will not become 57.84, even though when they say, oh, it's sabbatical year. No, God turned time back in Exodus 12. He said, this now is ahead of your year. He moved it back on uh, 182 days, six months. And so when you go back, that means you have to repeat something. That means that there's an extra six months in the bank because uh, the head of the year now is March the 17th. The last day, the last Sabbath is March the 16th. So when he did that video, I was like, dude, I, I, March, March the 16th, you know how far away that is? I don't want to be here for March the 16th. But everything he did in that study pointed to March the 16th. So I'm saying January the 7th. I think uh, who uh, Steve Fletcher, I think, is looking at, is it January the 11th or January the 15th? There's a lot of really good studies out there. And I'm now able, now that I got everything done, I'm now able to uh, sit down and get back into studying again. And uh, I put that off. I put that off. I put it off. And... I wasn't, I did not want to do this move that I had to do. Did not want to do it. I didn't think I would have to. I thought that we would be gone. But just like, honestly, every date that I've ever looked at, I had as high a hope as, of leaving as everyone else did. And then when it didn't happen, you have to shift gears and just keep trying to figure it out. We'll never stop trying to figure it out. God's not angry at us. For missing the date. He's hidden that on purpose. And I think he's hidden it from say I don't think they know. Just based on those pictures I just showed you, they know they have seven years from the moment that that occurs. And they're just trying to be close to it. And now that they said six years and something, they're like pushing God, hurry up, you know, get this rapture over with because it's my turn to take over. So who knows? Keep watching. So again, January 7th, January 11th, January 15th. Do not want to be here till March the 16th. Just don't. I, I, I don't. But you, I find that I don't buy something. You know, I just bought these glasses. My other ones were so scratched up I couldn't see. These are, you know, $2 at Walmart. They're just cheap readers because I, I can see fine. I just can't read uh, without glasses. So I put off buying those even because I'm like, and I heard Cool Cat. I put off the dentist thing because I just know we're leaving. So we've all we all see these dates, and trust me, when we put them out here, ninety nine percent of us have a, a, a uh, an amount of confidence in the date. Uh, we're not just. I'm just. Not, I'm personally not just throwing dates out here myself. Um, I have an amount of confidence that that is the date. And then when it passes, I find something new, I put it together, I present it to you, and then I have an amount of confidence that that is going to happen. So we're going to keep studying and keep searching. I don't think uh, that any one of us, I've said this before, each of us has a puzzle piece. All of us have a puzzle piece, small pieces, big pieces, two or three pieces. All of us have puzzle pieces. You can't complete it without all of them. So we are all working together to try to figure this out. We keep watching. We are going to go home soon. It is going to happen soon. We just don't know exactly when. But I, again, I have this feeling, I have this feeling that we're going to see something. And maybe not, because God doesn't want Satan to know. He's going to take us. It's an escape. It is an escape. He's going to sneak us out of here. He's going to take us out of here. He's going to come like a thief and rob us out of here. So Maybe there is no kind of warning. Maybe it's just bam and we're gone. So, you know, every time I get close to a date like the seventh, I'm like, I don't see anything really big happening. But then again, maybe we don't have to. So, all right. Anyway, Repo Man 64. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know, and you don't need to tell anybody. Accept the Lord into your heart one of the most single most important things that you will ever do and uh we'll see you on the other side see you in heaven in that perfect place so all right